Okay, welcome back. Let's talk about substeps and flam and uh, some different uses for them in the TR8S. The first and usually most prominent use of them is in a hi-hat pattern to give it some color and variation throughout your loops. So a basic close hi-hat every note gets you this. And then you add in your other sounds to get your other more. And then if you want to add in, you push sub, and these will be yellow, so you'll take them out. And then add them back in. shift you could adjust velocity give you more natural rolls doesn't matter what mode you're in as long as you hold shift you can change the velocity of that it's once you clear it you're going to add it in the sub so take it out of sub if you want to get back to red in a normal step now, if you're in sub mode and you hold sub, you can choose what kind of step you want, divisions, and that is per step you make. So it's not until after you change it are the steps you make gonna be affected. Everything you made beforehand stays what it was. Just a good side note to remember. So we're playing on half. So you can do that with that. You can also do it with like uh, bass notes and percussive and get those a little more syncopated and whatnot. Um, these are just basic. Here. Sub steps on this. Maybe a flam. Change this one to a flam. Soften it. idea of what I'm doing with the sub steps and the flams and how you can work it into what you're creating. Don't just stick with your snares or your hats. Uh, work in your toms, work in your bass sounds, work in other sounds and get them. Oh, and it also works on the trigger too. If you want to set up flams to trigger other sounds, you could do that. Get into a whole nother sound creation. Anyway, I hope this works. I hope you could hear me. <laughs> this time I'm working on the mic skill guys thanks for your patience and as always thanks for watching